Hey everybody, welcome back to my Project 13. Thanks for coming on by and checking out this vid. Appreciate your time and your support. LG Velvet Battery Life. That's what this video is about. But before I continue, disclaimer. I say this in every Battery Life video. My experience will be different than yours. Even if there are areas that we have in common, most likely we utilize them differently. Okay, and there's a lot of areas that go into battery life, a lot whether it's using your smartphone as a phone, connectivity, uh, performance, functionality, uh, listening to a lot of music, watching movies, videos, and, and, and so many other areas. So uh, again, we may have some areas in common, but it's the way we're using our smartphone when utilizing those different areas that make it different. And that's where battery life can be really tricky. I've had some smartphones that didn't have great battery life, but I made those smartphones work for me. But there are moments in life where you do get a smartphone, it doesn't matter what you do, it just it isn't gonna work. So hopefully you return it, get your money back and get something else. So let's go ahead and get to the screenshots on my LG Velvet, doing too much talking. Let's start off down here. Now, I don't know what day or days that all these screenshots are related to, but I know that I got a lot of screenshots. So we're just gonna go through uh, and look at them. 36% says estimated time remaining, six hours, two minutes. And took it off the charger 10 hours and 58 minutes earlier that day, sometime early in the morning. And I got about seven hours screen on time, six hours, 59 minutes. With 36%, could have easily gotten another hour, hour and a half, depending on what I would be doing. Now, if I'm editing, if I'm creating content, I'm editing, processing, that can suck up battery life a little bit faster. Uh, listening to music, not so much. Watching movies, videos, yeah, it can suck up a little extra there. It, you know, it, it just depends on how long you're 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 using your device for those areas. If you're a gamer, gaming can really suck up battery life. But if you know that when you're done gaming, charge up for 15, 20 minutes. That should get you through the rest of your day. The next one, 29%, five hours, 10 minutes left. And uh, took off the charger 15 hours and a half earlier that day. Seven and a half hours with 29%, so easily could have got eight hours that day. 38%, six hours and a half left. Five hours, 40 minutes. So at 38%, depending again on what I'm gonna be doing the rest of the day, on that day or whatever I did, I could have gotten another hour, hour and a half. So easily could have surpassed six and a half. And again, I'm just guessing, but I, I know uh, myself. I know how I am with my smartphones and, and I know what I'm doing with them. So um, it's either gonna be a lot of movies or videos or creating content. Um, and I do use my, my, my smartphones as phones, texting, uh, phone calls, going out, coming in. So connectivity is important. Connectivity may suck where you live. So that could do a lot with getting a not so good battery life. Something to think about. Uh, and for me, I get really great connectivity here where I live with T-Mobile. But I'm using this smartphone with AT&T. And uh, I did talk to AT&T and they told me that the service that I have right now is for free. So I don't have to worry about that. So uh, with AT&T, where I'm living locally uh, here in the Portland, Oregon area, doing really, really well, really happy with connectivity. So this day, 6% battery just left, 52 minutes remaining is what it's saying. And I got five hours, 38 minutes. So obviously doing a lot that day. I, I don't know exactly what I was doing. As you can see, it kind of went straight here, kind of went down and straight there. This is the graph and then it just drops off. I'm using it a lot right there. Um, but yeah, I can't remember exactly what I was doing, but as you can see, even with 6%, I probably could have hit the six hour mark. Again, depending on what I'm doing. On this day, 16% battery juice left, two hours, 22 minutes is what they estimate I have left as far as uh, time on my phone. And here I got six hours, nine minutes. So yeah, again, it's a guessing game on how much more screen on time I would have gotten depending on what I'm doing. There's a lot of areas that I just mentioned, but one of my favorite areas is editing content. So uh, when creating content, I'm either using um, PowerDirector or InShot from the Play Store or both. And um, so, you know, battery can 
drain due to the editing process, the processing and uploading. And a lot of YouTuber, you YouTubers out there know that. So depending on how long the video it is or how much I need to edit, a lot goes into that. And that's it. Those are all the screenshots. For the most part, I'm just gonna say six and a half, seven hours is about, and I could be wrong, give or take here or there, but for me, for what I do, and I use my phones heavy, especially during the reviewing process, that is really good to great battery life on my LG Velvet. Whether it's as a phone, connectivity, performance, functionality, music, videos, movies, uh, editing, processing, content. For all of you here on Team My Project 13, this smartphone is killing it when it comes to battery life. I do not need to make it work for me. It is just working. Whatever I'm throwing at it, it is getting me through my day and whatever it is that I'm doing. Okay, for some of you, you may be a gamer. Maybe you're gaming all day long. Let me know what that is like for you on, on your LG Velvet. And uh, it does come with a dual screen. Um, I utilize that when I'm watching movies. I love to just flip this up and watch a movie on the second display there. And on the back, you'll have your volume rocker uh, back there. So I can easily just turn the volume up and down. Uh, and, I, and I really, really dig this. And I can see my notifications, time, day, and so forth. Battery percentage all right here on that notification display. Little display. And yeah, really, really nice. I don't use it all the time, but uh, more so when I'm watching movies and videos. I really love that when I'm laying down in bed at night. So, um, but yeah, I, I mainly use it a lot like this just in pocket, uh, out of pocket, in hand, and uh, whatever it is that I'm going to throw at it. So that's battery life for me. And that's where it's going to stay. That's a lot of screenshots. That's a lot of days. Let me know what your experience has been like with your LG Velvet when it comes to battery life. But man, I'm really stoked. And again, a huge shout out to LG for sending me the smartphone, uh, for letting me keep it and be able to share the experience with all of you. I am really digging the experience. Oh, the cameras. I didn't even mention the cameras, man. Picture quality is great, whether it's during the day or at night. Video quality, the same. The stability, especially the velvet, man. Just killing it in that area. Man, I almost overlooked that topic. Everybody, welcome back to my project 13. Thanks for coming on by and checking out this video. The LG Velvet 4K 30 frames per second. Let me know how everything looks, how everything sounds. Now I wanted to start off with some music. So you can let me know down below in the comment section. But the audio quality is like as it's being fed into your ears. Now it should sound really, really good to great, but you're gonna let me know down below in that comment section. Visually, should be stunning. But again, you're gonna let me know. So feedback, please, feedback. Would really appreciate it. But really, man, do your homework and look into, if you wanna save a little extra money, 600 smacks for the Velvet, 700 for the V60. You don't need a flagship. There's nothing wrong with wanting one of those. If you have the money, cool. If you can trade in and get a $1,000, $1,200, $1,300 smartphone, I mean, that's, that's your thing, man. But if you're looking to hold on to something for a while and you don't want to spend a lot of money and you want that flagship experience, bam! Bam. And you get that dual screen. That's it, everybody. Thanks for watching. God bless. Peace. I am out. Stay safe and healthy.